And now your exclusive Storm Team 3 forecast from KTVO. Well, the light snow exits tonight. Otherwise, we'll see seasonable but windy conditions as well as very quiet weather conditions. Well, let's take a look at the KTVO Sky Cam uh, brought to you by the Heritage House Realty in Culver Stockton College, located on top of Samaritan Hospital in Macon. And as people are out and about this evening, we do have cloudy skies, dry conditions, those strong winds in Macon out this hour. Uh, most of the snow continues to fall into southeast Iowa. We're also getting just some very light amounts into Unionville. Uh, but I tell you, we got... We did not, uh, we escaped the worst of it, I tell you, because in northwestern, very northern portions of Iowa, anywhere from, I, I saw a map that was showing anywhere from like five to six inches to even 14 inches in some locations. All we're receiving here in southeast Iowa, about an inch so far. So very light compared to those amounts. So we escaped it uh, by far. So this storm system is going to continue to exit as we're heading into the evening hours. Most of it will be out of here by 11 to midnight time frame. Otherwise, those cloudy skies will remain with us as we're heading in. Uh, but temperatures, though, right now 34 degrees at the Kirksville Regional Airport. Winds, though, are very strong out of the west at around 22 miles per hour. Tumwa. 33 degrees with light snow. Winds are out of the west northwest at around 15 miles per hour. Factor in those winds and the temperatures. It feels like it's about 23 in Atumwa. 22 is what it feels like in Kirksville. Centerville, it feels like it's about 23 degrees. So we actually saw wind gusts up to about 32 miles per hour for today. We're going to continue with those strong winds for tonight and into tomorrow. Still coming out of the northwest, gusting up to about 28 to 30 miles per hour. So those temperatures on the back side of the storm system are going to be a little bit colder than what we woke up to this morning. About 30 degrees at 11 o'clock into the upper 20s at 7 a.m. with cloudy skies. So the wind chill outlook is going to feel like it's about 15 to 20 degrees as we're heading into early tomorrow morning on your way to work in school. So bundle up if you're heading out to the bus stop tomorrow morning because it even though uh, we're going to see temperatures uh, into the mid 20s, that's still cold. But then factor in those winds, it is going to feel even colder as we're heading throughout the day. For overnight lows, we're looking about 26 degrees. Northwest winds gusting to 28 miles per hour. Now, as we're heading into Thursday and Friday, those clouds will remain with us. We'll see a little bit more sunshine throughout the day on Friday with partly sunny skies still hanging on with those breezy conditions, even on Friday. Still can't get rid of those, uh, but those temperatures for tomorrow, we're looking about 31 degrees. Northwest winds gusting up to 23 miles per hour. Here's the extended five-day forecast. Holding steady into the lower 30s, feeling more like January. 34 degrees on Saturday with partly sunny skies. Increasing clouds on Sunday, 33. 39 degrees on Monday with mostly sunny and then overnight lows hanging into the 20s. Of course, anytime, check us out 24-7 at KTVO.com. So colder for tonight, uh, but feeling more like January, more seasonable as we're heading into the last few days of January. Getting back below freezing again. <laughs> back below freezing, yes. All right, thanks, Teresa. Coming up next.